Hello, everybody, and welcome to next time on A Wizard's Lizard. We are uh, starting again after that loss that we had in the forest. What do I want this time? I kind of like the spears, but, uh, you know, the axes did me well. So I'm going to go ahead with the axes. I should next time save enough money for whatever this firework is and find out what that does. Maybe it allows me to skip a few stages. That would be cool. Because I'm getting tired of, you know, playing the same levels over and over again and not really progressing. And I'm pretty sure that you watching me, you're not too happy about me dying all the time. I wouldn't be. I'm not, in fact. So that's why this round, I'm going to try my hardest to get further than I have previously in this game. I am going to... It's going to be a while. This video could easily split... <laughs> this video could easily be split into two parts because I am going to farm as many zombies as I can and uh, give myself every opportunity to try and succeed in this game. If that sounds like it's going to be boring, well, go ahead and skip this video and the next video. Because I'm sure I'm going to split this up into two parts. But again, we're going to try our best to proceed with as much caution as we can while giving ourselves every benefit that we're able to. Why didn't I do this before, you ask? Well, because before it was more about seeing how far we could get as fast as we could be. Because I know nobody wants to watch a 40 minute video of somebody who ends up just dying at the end of it anyway. So that's why I tried to, uh, to go really fast. But this time, no such luck. I mean, that room alone took, like, what, two to three minutes? Wow, that spear looks cool. Should I buy that helmet, though? I'm going to hold out. I'm going to see if we can't... Well, we're definitely not going to get 10,000 on this uh, floor. But I'm going to see how much gold we can actually gain on the first floor uh, farming all the enemies available to us. As you can tell, I am bouncing these axes off the wall because... That's how they do more damage. I mean, we are really getting some gold here, though. I mean... Again, I, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near 10,000 gold so we can pick up that spear. Whatever that spear may be. But, I mean, every time we pick up gold, it gives us a better chance for uh, an item in the future that maybe we uh, can better utilize than the spear. We are on the, the last room here for this uh, level. But I see back there where we could have taken a left. So again, because we're, you know, going to every room and doing everything, why don't we go to the left and see if there's a way we can get more gold? There's a chest here. Oh, that freaking owl. Freaking owl hit me right in the goddamn face. Okay, well, we know that leads to the forest. The question is do we go, do we try to go to the forest again? We got some spike gauntlets. They may increase our health slightly and increase our damage slightly. I mean, that's the only reason I could think of that they would sp stick the qualifier spiked on top of there. I am going to raise all these zombies, but this time I'm not going to die to them. I'm just raising them for the fact that we can get money for killing them. And that one white zombie's just gonna have to freaking wait his turn. 
Yeah, we got we got some money from doing that. I'm not gonna die this time. I'm not gonna sacrifice our first life just to get a damn spear. <clears throat> do I go to the forest now, or do I continue on the path that we know so well? Huh. I, I do want to make some new progress. You know what? We're going to go to the forest. We're going to go to the forest because A, we're not dead this time, and two, we have the axes. And I feel much more confident with the axes than I did with the, the lance that I had before. And I know I said A and then two. That was supposed to be a joke in case it didn't come off that way. We just gotta be careful. I know those uh, those bear traps are pretty enticing for a bear like myself, but I gotta remember to just stay out of them because they're traps, much like all the women in my life. Stupid fungus. Gotta be careful when we explode the fungus to avoid the spray and we picked up some really good gold there and I missed a cup but that's okay we're gonna come back to that cup at some point well there's another cup over here why do we need to go back for that one specific cup when we have a perfectly good other cup right here a lot of cups <clears throat> well because it's 750 gold that's why Ma'am. Now I want to run into a shop that has a really cool item that we can buy. We're not there yet. But I imagine there'll be a shop somewhere in the future here. I used, uh... I used the magic by accident when I meant to lay the totem. It's no biggie. See, it takes two axe swings, well, two bouncing axe swings, I should say, to defeat that great owl. Axes are just superior. All right, what do we have in here? We have a stopwatch, a charm of the stopwatch. What is that? Charm of the something? And I imagine that's charm of the totem, which will increase our totem power. I don't know, since I don't really utilize totems or magic that much, I think I'm going to pass on those. If we get 1,500, 15,000 gold, we will go back for that blueprint, which it seems pretty logical that we will hit that goal when we're at 1,475. Uh, 13,450. 13,700 is what I meant to say. If you couldn't tell, I'm bad at math, and I'm bad at counting, and I'm bad at reading. Makes you wonder why I'm even, uh, you know, on YouTube at all. Wow, that fucker. I hate these guys so much. God damn slime. I swear to God, man. I swear to fucking Christ. If I die to a slime once more, I'm just uninstalling this game. I'm gonna just say, you know what, game? Fuck you. I am out. I am outie for shouty. Dying to a green slime monster wouldn't be so bad, but these piles of slime, they're easy to kill. Don't get me wrong. I know they're easy to kill, but goddamn, I just, I just have such a problem with them. Come on, Mimic. Yes, the Mimic hit me, and I'm not too upset about the Mimic. I just need to find a way out. Your... Wait, what? How, how does that thing go? It's, uh... You know. Your task to find a way out. Ha 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 Of course, there's always my way. And then you see the guy who hung himself. I am talking, of course, about the great ride at Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom, 
which is in uh, Florida here. The best ride in the park, which of course is the Haunted Mansion. This room has no windows and no doors. Your task, to find a way out. All right, we got the elven tunic. That's all I'm gonna do about that. I think any more and I might actually get a copyright infringement on my stuff here. I'm sure they have that whole thing on lockdown, man. Disney. I'm talking about Disney. They got their shit on lockdown. We're gonna continue killing stuff because that's what we're good at. That's the only thing this lizard is good at is killing stuff with bouncing axes. I guess. I don't really know. That, you know, that brings up the question of why a wizard would have a pet lizard. And, I mean, it could be that the wizard is just crazy and he loves, like, the... I don't want to say alliteration. What's what's the word? The, the homonym? I'm going to say alliteration. He loves the alliteration that Wizard Lizard gives. You know, because he's goddamn crazy. Maybe. Dark Wizard Crown. I love it. The question is, do we go ahead and try to clear this room? These guys only take three hits if I bounce one off the, uh, bounce one off the wall there. If we go one at a time, or maybe even two at a time, I don't think we're gonna have a lot of trouble, I say as I get hit. It's just because last time we spawned like 80 of them, and we're like, yeah, we can do this. And then we didn't. I think that's where we, we fell into the trouble there. I, I wanna get cocky and go for three at a time, but at the same time, I don't wanna die. And you know, maybe there's a secret. Maybe we gotta use the shovel to kill all these guys. Yeah. I like that. When I'm able to bounce the uh, the axe right off the wall and then hit him with the first shot like that. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Eric, you're supposed to give yourself every opportunity this time to, um, to make sure that you win. And to that I say, well, thank you for reminding me of my goal. I think I know what my goal is. And this, oh god, no! Spider webs! Okay, we almost, we almost, uh, fell victim to our own hubris there. Spider webs, man. As I was saying before, I know you're saying to me, Eric, you're supposed to give yourself every opportunity to complete this game and actually have a win under your belt. Because the title screen, every time you start up the damn game, taunts you. Oh my god, we died. And now we have, like, a fucking army of these goddamn ghosts after us. The title screen taunts me, man. It says, look, you got six losses, zero wins. How do you like them apples? And I say, I don't care for your apples very much. Please stop taunting me. But there it is. Every time I start up the game, you got zero wins, six losses. I imagine if this forest is anything like the last forest that we encountered, there will be an area where we can revive ourselves ourselves myself I don't want the shovel so all I gotta do is stay alive long enough to find that room which I haven't come across yet but I'm sure I will why did I wake up all those guys now at once because you know I'm at full health I'm feeling pretty good okay that that didn't feel very good a shovel to the fates I'm, okay, fine. I'm gonna go with the shovel. 
All right. We cleared the room. Those guys didn't drop jack shit. And also, nothing dropped after I killed all of them. All right, you know what? We're just going to revive right now. With 35 health and one extra life, can't feel too salty about that. I will try my best not to waste another life like I did there. But you know, I can't really promise anything. I can promise that I'm doing my best. How about that? I'll make that deal with you. Now we really should go back to the blueprint vendor and uh, buy that blueprint that we had for 1500 or 15,000. Because who knows what that blueprint is, you know? I mean, it could be something really awesome that will actually help us win next time. And how am I supposed to get enough people for 9,000 gold, which is what the the trident is? I love that trident. I would I would take the trident every time if I could. But the fact is, it's 9,000 gold, and every villager that we save only gives us 500 gold after we save them. So, how many villagers would we need to save? To get 9,000 gold every time we start the game. Um, hold on. I, I told you I'm not very good at math. Ten, fifteen, nineteen, eighteen, eighteen. I want to say it's eighteen villagers. Am I right? I think I'm right. Eighteen villagers we would need to save. We went into this room, which I thought would be the end of the level because it had a bunch of skulls around it. But this just seems like a like a boss rush sort of mode. Or a gauntlet, sorry, a boss gauntlet sort of mode. There's no bosses in here, though. It's just a bunch of stupid werewolves. Why don't you go save Bella, huh? Huh? Stupid werewolf. Yeah, they're dead. He's dead. I think we actually gained health this room if we don't take any damage. And there we go. The music kind of like threw me off because it sounded like boss mode, but there's nothing here. And I guess it was a boss room because we have a bunch of chests here. Well, this is garbage. What is this now? A lantern. Yeah, I'm going to stick to my statement that that was a bunch of garbage. Uh, the lantern modifies personal lighting, equipped a light hook. That's all we got from that boss room. Increases soul power, increases maximum health, increases soul power, increases speed, increases attack, increases attack cooldown. Quickly throw spears towards the caster. I don't know. I don't like that hunter totem. So we're we're going to go back with the light totem. Okay, it's called a light totem, not a fire totem. Even though clearly it throws out fire. I mean, am I wrong here? I, well, it throws light skulls out. So I guess I am wrong. Like I said before, we are going to go back and we're going to definitely uh, check out that blueprint. It's this way, right? Please tell me it's this way. It's not this way. God damn it. Now I gotta backtrack all the way over there. Good news is that we are at full health. We're alive. Which is good. And we got that lantern, which uh, modifies our personal light space, as you can see. I did change the darkness setting a little bit. That's why it seems so much brighter anyway even though we're not dead you know what I'm gonna turn that back yeah so that, that gives the lantern a little bit more of an effect 
We got a den key. I don't know what it is. We know that that affects our totem. Let's get this. Charm of Haste. The Charm of Haste increases our speed. And that's it. Well, you know me and speed, man. Me and speed are like peanut butter and jelly. You can't have one without the other. No, that's that's not a good analogy. Um, what? Oh, no. Pe yes, we are like peanut butter and jelly. We always go together. That's what I want to say about that. Because you can have Eric without the speed. And you can have speed without the Eric. But when you put them together, it's just that much better. So we always go together. So I wonder if this will just put us at the sewers now and we don't have to face the warlord. War is complete? No. No, we go to cemetery again. Cemetery 3 though, so we are facing the warlord here. So basically we got like a free boss item room. I mean it was a little more difficult than our cemetery 2. Oh, there's the bee again! There's the bee again! I want the bee so bad! I really do want the bee.